Okay, and we're back. <clears throat> All right, so we'll keep everything such defaults. Do normal mode. And let me remember how the ever-loving crap is to play this game. Okay. A good corridor network is the backbone of every station. First growing sludge in the gardens. And then put it in a kitchen where it turns into food. I am remembering how this game works in real time here, so if I suck at it a little bit, don't mind me. It's like, I don't know, it's like Space Tetris. It's everything anybody ever liked about Tetris, but without all the stress. <laughs> That's completely untrue, but I'm gonna pretend. Ah, there's uh, smooth scroll buttons. That's good. Okay, so we now have the ability to make food, which will in turn give us the ability to make Dudes. Uh, let's see, we do need quarters to house them though. Hmm, I'm kind of liking that placement. critters, and then it's not at all chill, but that's okay. Uh, we don't need them to do any um, pumping the engines, I don't think. 
they've already got plenty of stuff to do as far as grabbing resources and wandering around, and this has plenty of time to, uh, to collect everything up. There's not a lot of coverage on this, but I think that'll be okay, because we're not really going to have anything except these two guys. Uh, weapons cost two of each resource, so it'll be a minute before that's built. first one is always just a scout, so I don't think it's going to be a too huge of a problem. Okay, we don't need quarters yet, we need this first. Uh, where are you going, buddy? Why didn't you finish building the thing? Oh, because I changed the priority crap. Oh well, at least this will be a quick thing once they actually remember to do it. <laughs> pew pew! There's two little fun, funny little dots. Doop 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 doop. Doop doop. Why are you just wandering off? Why don't you just prioritize that building? Both come over here and go pew pew. It's a really lovely game. It's very pretty. Nice abstract. Uh, abstract nonsense game. Which I love, of course. And that's going to be our next priority once this last piece gets put in to the kitchen. Too much about these. Um, they're just mostly for later. One thing that would be nice is it could suspend constructions, but I don't think you really have to have that in order for this game to work. And we're actually going to keep our population low on purpose um, until this next wave. We're going to have just these two guys working for now um, because I don't want to have problems with our weapons not being advanced enough. Uh, yes, thank you, tutorial, I understand. Ah, very crisp, crisp vector graphics. Uh, well, that's actually going to take a really long time, so let's get food service going, because we need, we need more food to build these anyway. Good job, you are now self-sufficient. <laughs> but am I really? Is that true? Yes, process the sludge. Process it. Process it. <laughs> and back on construction they go. So pretty soon we're going to want to go for those monoliths, but um, not yet. Obviously we'll be starting with this guy up here. Oh. Drag, apparently. This is the first one we'll be going for, um, but we won't be worrying about that until they're a little bit better established. Oh, that was weird. That resource just kind of teleported a little bit. So we want the quarters first because we want more guys, uh, more than anything else that we don't currently have. Uh, this, once it's finished extracting material, uh, will be disassembling, um, and then we'll have these two constructed. <clears throat> Quarters are just kind of super expensive, generally. And another blue cube exists now, I guess. So when this guy gets there, he'll be confused what to do, and then we'll send him off to do this instead. Well, oh, or it could actually need that many. That's fine. So we'll prioritize that as soon as these guys do their thing. We're about to deplete our materials. It's almost time for Fighting McFighterson to happen. 
prioritize that one. And then get these two over on defense so that we don't get attacked. Where are they? Ah, there it is. This Darwinia looking thing. It's like the little evil kite. Fortunately, I am better at pew-pew than it is. <laughs> Where the heck are you going? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, so we don't have anything urgent going on, but we do need to be filled up with food. Which means we need minions on food service, which means that they need to pretty much just be doing that until we get our new guys. Um, this has two remaining in the field, um, so we'll put... Um, let's see. Dude, what are you doing all the way over there? You don't need to be over there. Yay, we've got a new guy. And he's going to be on construction. Process the sludge. Process faster. <laughs> All right. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, come on, will one of you please grab the thing? on that for now. We'll have our new guy be on... Let's put one guy on food service for now, because we don't really need that much. And we do need more corridors, however. And that will allow us to get to the artifact, or the obelisk, or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> we want another weapons bay. of the areas available. And as soon as that finishes, then we can destroy this. Fill up faster. Get the square. <laughs> and we'll have you go over and do engineering for a little bit, because we don't need that much food. We do need food, just not much or quickly. This can be disassembled, and all of that gets dumped into our supply. So that's pretty much exactly where we want to be on that. Uh, we don't need another gardens or kitchen, but we do want more quarters. Which I think we'll want to place hereabouts-ish. We also want weapons up here to guard our guys researching the obelisk. That's not actually going to help almost at all. Um, everyone on defense! It's time for pew pew! Basically, as long as you have enough defense stations, enough weapon stations for everyone to be on one at any given time, uh, then you will always be able to repel any attack, pretty much as it comes in, uh, even though it means that you kind of bring everything to a halt. So if you're trying to complete the game in a certain amount of time, it's not the best way to do it, but uh, it is nevertheless useful. Let's get everyone on construction, even though we don't strictly have to. We 
do want another weapons platform, but I, I want it to be the right shape, because we need to be able to defend this. I don't want to stretch out too far around the thing. Also going to want to put a corridor down to that obelisk as well, and we're going to kind of do that just whenever there's time that we're not focused on anything else. Um, these are not going to have construction priority or what what have you. <clears throat> this is the one we want to prioritize, followed by that. I think we're just going to have to just make do as far as our weapon platform placement. Carrying the food. So as soon as we start running out of, uh, out of energy, um, then at that point we'll probably want to have somebody switch over to engineering. As the title of this game implies, uh, or the, the etymology of it implies, um, the title of this game means Space Capsule. So we will be having as much, uh, as much energy put towards research as we can without sacrificing our defense platform construction. So we'll keep two guys on uh, on construction for right now. Prioritize that so that they actually do it. And we'll keep the one guy on food service because he's going to give us a second minion here. And then this has a little progress bar on it, which will gradually fill up as we get closer on that. And then food service guy is going to feed this again. I'm kind of tempted to put another reactor out there, but I don't think that'll do much good, really. This is a bit of a problem. We don't actually have... Oh no, it's coming from that side. Uh, wait. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay. So you're on food service. Two of you are on construction, and two of you are on research. That should get things back on track. Food service guy will get our, our quarter, our minion back. And fortunately, it looks like the closest one is the one that uh, that decided it was going to going to be affected. Blop, blop, blop. I do like the vector graphics in this. They're just really lovely, very pleasant to look at. Crisp and clean. It's like Thomas was alone, but like we're. I don't know. <laughs> it's like Thomas was alone a little bit. Distantly. You're on construction as well because we want that weapons platform built. Uh, actually, you know what? We might want to put you on food service instead because right now it's taking a long time to get the, the sludge over to the kitchen. Okay. 
food service guy, you can go be on construction as well. Because we need to get the food that you just produced, the food that you served. Oh, I forgot about this. It actually shows you what you have. That's good. 13. Wow. Oh. There's a lot of material just sitting around. How much does this have left? It's hard to tell. And these obelisks, of course, are very slow. So I have one of them on research, so that this gets less slow. And then the rest of these guys can start building towards the next obelisk, and hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, we'll actually have that going in time. Uh, we, we're going to build another quarter, but we're not going to build that shape of quarter. Oh, heck. Alright, that should do. We want another quarter, but we want it close. And as soon as this is done, then we can just deconstruct this and build another one somewhere else using the, using the materials. Come on! We're close. We're close. We can get this before the next attack wave. Come on. Pew, pew. It's very helpful that these monoliths come with their own analytical tools, diagnostic tools, so that you can, you know, so you can zap them <laughs> conveniently, I guess. Alright, nobody happens to be carrying anything right now, so let's defend the base. Alright, here they come. It's a really cool animatic where they just kind of wiggle like that. Alright. Three there, three there. Wave five completed, three enemies. We will definitely get this one before wave six. Which means that that can be disassembled straight away. Almost there. And each of these gives you a permanent buff. just generally is helpful to have. Oh, shaky shake. Missions, research any monolith, check. All right, next thing to do is research all of the monoliths. Extractors are more efficient. Oh boy. One on food service, two on construction. So that's full on material. We still need energy. All right, and now food services needs two people for now. And they should come down here and start on this obelisk pretty quick. start researching this with our new people and maybe we want another weapons platform like hereabouts it's not a very great spot for it but it's a good spot for it and I think I need to just accept that now let's lay out the next set of corridors in the meantime Extractor there, and then a corridor there. And that will cancel. 
make sure that's not where we want it. And then we can have this and a weapons platform here. So we'll prioritize that. And then we'll have both of our new guys on research. One of the food servants on research as well, while everybody else works construction for the moment. Alright, just about time for Fighty McFighterson to show up. Oh, wait, crap. That's a problem. These guys are not defended right now. Run. Run away. Oh wait, no, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. All right, we came out of that pretty well, actually. service right now, so we'll have him on engineering for the moment. We're probably going to need food service again in just a second. Um, let's put down another quarter and we'll have it um, put here. That shouldn't be too egregious. really annoying that there isn't a way of like relocating resources on mass uh, other than just building the production buildings way out in the middle of nowhere <clears throat> blop, blop. wow the engineer actually does have some work to do <laughs> jeez This is super inefficient, right? This only needs two material, or two energy, rather. Okay. Oh, well, let's, let's leave him doing what he was doing. This, I think we've got a better than even shot at completing before the next wave, which is excellent. Mm, that's going to be pretty close, actually. At the very least, we'll have it by the end of next wave. service guy over on... Oh, oh. Engineering, but we don't want him to do that anymore. Five defenders right now. Is anyone going to bother coming down here where we actually need defense? They're actually going to die. You wanna like maybe shoot back? Okay, jeez. Put everybody on food service. And then delete this. <laughs> so first things first, we gotta get our guys back. 
soon as these are all filled up with food, then we'll be good on that. So the new guys can go straight to construction so we can get this other quarter built and increase our workforce further. Uh, we also will want more weapons, I'm thinking. Increase our coverage area a little bit. Oh, this is done. So we've got, what, eight, and then we'll have ten. So we need... We've got 15 total to build two, uh, five, seven, uh, 11, 13, yeah, 13. So we'll be okay. We'll actually have enough to build all of these structures. <clears throat> and then we'll get a little bit back for demolishing these, so I think it'll be fine. Service guys should get our last minion built. And what do you know? There he is. And he can go and be on construction as well. So we want stuff carried clear out into the boonies as quickly as possible. So one, two, three, four, five. Five weapons platforms in order to pull you, uh, or in order to get optimal use out of them, I should say. And we can actually still afford that even without this this processor over here, extractor, whatever they're called. I've forgotten to put anyone on defense, so that's neat. Crap. I have literally one guy left. Okay, cool. Food service with you. Two food services with you. Get going. Make more dudes. <laughs> Crap. Uh, that was not smart. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna make a trip down there, and then he's gonna go back to the kitchen, grab another one, and do the same thing, I hope, maybe. Wow, that sucked. <laughs> Look at me, I'm good at games, I'm gonna just not remember to play. That'd be great. <laughs> Frank. Two food service guys. So they're gonna carry the food first, it looks like, and then they will actually start carrying sludge. Like they're supposed to. <laughs> so once this guy here gets uh, gets completed, oh that's interesting. Okay, so yeah, I'm not sure whether I'm correctly understanding how this works. Um, basically, once this runs out, um, then I think I'm gonna produce. I'm gonna put another. Um, another garden here instead, uh, instead of a quarter, because that will make this produce faster. 
Um, we may also want to like move this over or something. <clears throat> well, we can't really do that until this runs out. Uh, so it needs to mine three more pieces. Alright, the food services guys are... They have their hands as full as possible, given the slow production of this garden. Looks like that's most of what we're waiting for most of the time. Very atmospheric, which I like. Very nice game. There's some aspects of it that are like, yeah, this is merely okay, you know. But uh, most of it I quite like. I find it very pleasant. Alright, my minions are getting themselves pieced back together. This time we will do this ahead of time. Please and thank Get everybody on defense. Six guys, three weapons. That is just about right. Oh, there are a lot of you dudes. Okay. All right, immediately better. <laughs> One more. Come on. Okay. Get everybody onto construction and food service again. That should just about keep up with the demand. I think. <laughs> This music is so lovely. This is almost done. Three, two more. Ah, it's so slow. Every day is so slow. Ah. But that's fine. It doesn't have to be fast. We're going on to construction, because that's what we do right now. service guys are actually keeping busy despite the slow production. This is currently mining the last piece of material, so as soon as the last material particle is gone, then we'll delete that. And then we will replace it with another sludge thing, uh, which hopefully we won't actually need. Um, How convenient it's the same shape. We'll put the food service guys on this as well. Well, one of them. One will stay on food service. So there's still stuff to do. Research again, but we will not do that until such time um, as the nearby buildings are done. So we'll prioritize that, and then once that's done, we'll prioritize this, and once this is done, then we'll have that. And somewhere in there, we will probably resume the research, which we really should do right away, but I'm slow in my brain sometimes, so. Probably not a great idea to have the only reactor right here. Um, at the same time, I can't really think of a better way to handle it. So we'll have two people in food service, and that should now be a little bit. Oh, oh well, never mind. Everybody on the events. Everyone, get your guns. Get your pew pew lasers. 
sure I could squeeze a little bit more productivity out of the time that we have left, but I don't like risking it. So there's one, two, three, four, five again this time. They're coming from a broader spread of areas, but since we have plenty of defense, that's fine. I don't have to care. Alright. Everybody to your posts. <coughs> Again. platform, because that will help protect our dudes, and then we also want an extractor, and that will live right there. But we want that prioritized, so all of our guys will run down there. And now we can start researching the new thing. Should get one more new minion momentarily, and that guy's going to be our other researcher. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Cool. So we have a one-to-one -one ratio of uh, of dudes to lasers. I think <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah. So maybe we don't, actually. I'm not sure whether that's correct. <clears throat> Let's put down another weapons platform here, just in case. Make sure that there's proper parity, so that we can make sure that everybody is protected. on this. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good. Hmm. Alright, so the enemy waves are slower and our extractors are faster. Both of which are good, but neither of which is particularly, like, game-changing, really. Uh, the engineer is laying down on the job some of the time, but that's okay. We don't need him to do anything particular. Once this is researched, we're going to leave this one here, but we're going to delete this one. Um, this one because that protects the way to this extractor. Looks like we're going to want to put up another quarter pretty soon. So let's get that started. We've got an 
idler. He's gonna be on construction. Get going, buddy. So most of this is actually pretty well protected. The only thing that we might want to do is add another one, like next to this, um, just to just to cover this middle path here. Um, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, we're probably going to get this research done, which is good. And that means that as soon as that's done, then they'll come up to this up here, this other monolith. And I think that should be exactly what we want, actually. We have plenty of energy being created, which is good. Um, mostly just because people aren't taking it away quickly enough, which is strange. Their weapons reach further. Oh, neato! Doesn't show that at the moment, but let's double check. Yeah, no, that's not true. Two of these need to be walking through the middle. So get on that now before you get shot, and everything will be fine. Alright, cool. One here, everybody here, two here, one there. Alright. That's about how I like it. Although one of these can probably go to construction, because we're keeping up with this just fine. Uh, we're not expanding quickly enough that it's using up all of our resources in real time. Very pleasant. It's kind of a worry-free game, which is really nice. It's a very pleasant experience. Uh, let's get access to that material over there. Uh, let's have our extractor. Well, that's inconvenient. Let's make it a corridor instead. services. Put some more weapons here and here. Yeah, that's pretty good coverage, I would say. <clears throat> and then we will also have additional quarters here, and here, and uh, it's a bad place for that. Construction crew, defend the station! Oh good, these two are going for the important one. Oh crap. Oh, all the researchers. They were too stupid to run. Oh. Okay, well, we'll have new researchers. Fine. 
what are the missions? All monoliths, 28 waves, and then I'm not worried about the time. Because I've already passed that. Well, the engineer can actually be on construction, I think, because we want that faster. Last piece of food goes. <laughs> why? Why did that guy just take the food out of the room and? <laughs> it's kind of weird. You can be the new engineer. Once this is researched, then we will so we'll remove this straight away, because we don't need it. Uh, we're, we're basically just going to build minions move faster. Ah, dang. I wish I'd gotten that one right at the beginning. That would have been rather more helpful. So now we just need to spy of 28 waves, so just lots of defense and lots of guys, basically. sucks. Well, um, just a crap ton of defense. That's what we're gonna have right now. And then once this one is built, then we'll have enough for everybody. <laughs> As you progress this, through this, um, everything sound, sort of tries to get more centralized. Why? Why can't I build this? Okay, am I not allowed to build it inside of the, like, the catchment range of another one? I don't understand. This one's almost done. This one's uh, close-ish. And then we can sort of scale things back and bring things a little bit closer to the center. We're pretty well defended, assuming that, like, they actually man the guns this time. <laughs> More construction, more construction, more construction. Ah. All the construction. And once the construction's done, we'll have all the defense. Mm. It's a little bit further out than I'd like, but that should do. Thank you. 
Everyone get on the shooties. Just absolutely everyone, get on the shooties. Oh, here they come. This is wave 15, we're trying to survive to wave 28. Which I don't really feel like we're gonna have any serious trouble doing. Okay, so we had two casualties. Which is, I feel like, pretty acceptable, considering how long it takes them to actually get to the guns. That's done, so that can go away. That can also go away, and then we'll construct a new version of it, quite a bit closer. Although that spot kind of sucks. Hmm. Apparently it doesn't let me place it inside the range of anything else. That's a bit annoying. And that's survivable, I suppose. Engineer is hard at work, doing engineering things. This has only five material particles left in the field, so because it's just a matter of time before they actually start using them. This one's going to get used up a lot faster because it's closer to what we're building. Um, so 15, 14, 13, 12 more that we have to use before that'll run out. getting a little closer together, which is what we want. Got this nice little central ring, and that's not supposed to be a kitchen crud. It's supposed to be quarters. on a gun. It's actually not, in my experience, good to have too many weapons compared to the number of, uh, the number of minions that you have, because if the critters start overwhelming the number of uh, defense or defenders that you have on any particular platform, um, so as in if there's like three flying worm things and one defender on a particular platform, they might get shot down before uh, they defeat all of the enemies that are coming in. Um, that's not that big of a deal um, when you're in this kind of situation, but at the same time it is definitely a bit problematic. <laughs> so, uh, alright, so the food service guys have a lot further to run now, so we're gonna need to uh, help them along a bit, and I don't think we need another engineer, but I'm curious whether we can assign one or not and have it actually work. <clears throat> and so both kitchens are now up and running uh, fairly regularly. One of them is obviously taking a lot longer to receive its sludge. Come on. Somebody was gonna eat that. <laughs> One of the minions just stole a food straight out of uh, out of the the quarters that just came up. A little bit rude. Alright, everybody hop on weapons. We still have too many guns compared to the number of minions. 
9 enemies in wave 17. I got one of our guys and shot another a little bit. Another couple of them. One engineer is definitely all that we need, even at full tilt construction. Oh, and this is all done, so that can go away, and that can go away. Which means that fewer of our guys need to be on guns in order to cover all of our, uh, all of our base areas. Good. I'm starting to think maybe I should get rid of uh, this weapons platform, um, turn it on its side, and then move this up there and put another quarter down here. I think that might be a more efficient layout. It's also a shame that I put that. That I couldn't put that one tile further down. So let's delete that and put another one here. That'll make a little bit more room for stuff. And that can go away and we'll put a different one. Uh, that should be fine. And then we'll put another quarters down here. got the right number of guns or not. So that whole side up here is kind of undefended right now. So we'll prioritize building the new gun. Alright, yeah, we're doing okay. That's wave 18 completed. One engineer, of course. Yeah, we don't even need the one guy, really. Because we've got a massive backlog of that from the buildings that we've just deleted. centralized things that we've got here are the resource stockpile and the, uh, the reactor. Um, everything else is at least split between the two sides, so I think that's actually pretty good. That's, that's not a bad place to be in right now. We'll have most of these guys work on constructing this as well. I mean, that's literally the only left to build, so I don't know why I bother prioritizing it, but there you go. So we're going to have a lot of these guys permanently on defense. Oh, jeez, I'm not a moment too soon. <clears throat> we'll count up how many we need on permanent defensive posture uh, momentarily. Okay, so we need two more than we currently have. Ten enemies in wave 19. Which is pretty survivable, honestly. Oh, looks like we might have lost one. food service, I guess. And we'll see how many people manage to be on food service usefully at a time in maximum uh, utilization. Because honestly, there's not that much to do for food service. Kind of trying to see where this stabilizes out so that I can see how much we need to change uh, 
there's an entity to keep, uh, I think you can just keep going forever. Uh, because eventually the, the enemy waves simply become too much. Like, sooner or later you will run out of things that you can survive. So these guys should start coming in a little bit quicker. guy. Okay, I think we've run out of defense positions for them to be on. Yeah, because the two new guys just fell straight over. They're on food services now. There's still food to serve. so I can kill you. Alright. So this is basically where we want it. We want just, like, everything on food services um, and defense. And then we'll gradually construct a few more buildings just to, basically just to house more guys. So we'll put another quarter down here. And that'll eventually get built. It's not a rush. Mostly we just want to make sure that the kitchens still continue operating as quickly as possible. shouldn't even need to move any guys around. They should just be already on what they need to be on. Which is to say, super shoot. And there's a grand total of eight material left in the universe. <laughs> Oh wow, that was pretty rough. I actually lost a couple guys. But that's also the very first attack that has ever yet... Um, just like we continued fully operating through it. Actually, be beneficial to have some of our extras just laying around, so our, our defensive guys, um, so that when somebody gets shot, they can just immediately jump in and, uh, and cover the gap. Like so. <clears throat> and the waves do speed up, so we're we're getting to the point where. Things are starting to get a little bit more hectic. What happened here? Oh, I see. The Eleven enemies. So we lost one, it looks like. Extract many resources. Extract more than 140 material in one round. Oh, so there's hidden stuff. Interesting. Okay. Probably won't play this game too much on stream, but I did want to at least give it a solid go. We might play plus mode later, um, but at least as of right now, I don't feel any particular need to like keep playing this.
boop, 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 boop. I'm gonna put everything on defense so that if somebody dies, the replacement will immediately fill in. And this is wave, what, 20-some? 20 23. 12 enemies. Not bad, honestly. We lost one. Yeah, we lost one guy. So we're in good shape. We're in, we're in pretty good shape. We'll keep food services running as much as possible. Um... Because we just, we always want um, our men replaced as quickly as we can uh, once they are defeated. And that's literally every single resource extracted that it is possible to extract. So that's cool. Now we're going to put more guys on food service right now just because we want a backlog of that. Um, like, we want them idling. We want to have more food than we can use. Um, because the more food that we have, the quicker it'll be to distribute it uh, to the quarters of the downed defenders. That's a lot of pew pew. They attacked a defenseless guy in his room. <laughs> I mean, that's honestly okay, because, like... That means that he respawned closer to the center, where it's better defended, which is fine by me. Collect all the sludge. All right, food service is going to start idling pretty soon, which is just fine. That's actually how we want it. So we want them poised to run to help replace our guys. Lost one. Lost two. Lost two. Okay. Not bad. That was wave 25. Wave 26 will arrive in just a couple of seconds. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's one of our guys back. He's on defense already. One down. One down. Wave 26 is complete. Wave 27 is already en route. Which is not at all surprising. Yeah, it, it just keeps speeding up. That's, that's all that happens. died, two, three died, three died. So our idlers have taken up their weapons, except one. Okay, he's got this now. And the food services guys are getting our army back on track. All according to plan. Wave 28 with 14 enemies. Sounded like I lost a couple. Well, one of them was even a defender. That's unfortunate. Two defenders have been killed. Hey look! A mission! Check. Survive 28 waves. On normal mode. And 
conveniently, that's just about the end of the stream. So we'll keep playing until I get overwhelmed and then be done for the night. Um, and that will happen eventually. Like, there's no possible way that I can just keep playing indefinitely. Sooner or later, I will be overrun, and then my space capsule will die. But that's okay. Wow, it's not a lot of death for how many shots are being fired. <laughs> wow. That actually did not kill very many of my guys at all. In fact, I don't think it killed any. Dang. <laughs> enemies all at once. When I heard somebody die. Second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. Wow, that was by far the most damaging wave that we've had so far. services is being kept busy. Okay, so our defenders are restocked and ready to go. But I did just lose three guys, I think. Maybe only two? Oh, that's bad. Jeez. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> The dominoes have started to topple. Oh boy. Yeah, they're they're going faster than I can produce. Okay, guys, what are you doing? One, one, and one. And one. Hey. All of these. <laughs> That's kind of counterproductive, guys. Get up, run to a gun! 18 enemies, wave 32. Oh, only 16, I can't read. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so I think overall we've actually lost one of the food services guys. Yeah, the gardens aren't producing fast enough to keep up the demand. Like at this point, it's it's literally it's not even a problem with having enough guns. It's that the gardens aren't producing sludge quickly enough for me to, to make food to create more guys. So I'm literally being outpaced by the resource production process. Let's see where they decide to take the food. Are they going to be useful and create a new guy, or are they going to just set it in a random empty room? longer, I don't think. The food's coming as fast as it can. Oh my gosh. That's so many of them. enemies for wave 35. Wave 36 is about to happen. Oh my gosh, all of our food service guys are dead. We need at least one. <laughs> He's gonna just 
sprints around the empty halls. Oh, there he is, the poor guy. He's gonna, he's absolutely gonna die. I put us surviving this wave and dying on either the next or the one after. That's, that's what I think is going to happen, that's my prediction. Wave 37 is inbound. Oh boy. <laughs> right, we're going to start deleting quarters to make sure that this guy takes closer runs. This isn't defended, so we're gonna have him stop going that direction. Okay, I don't think this is probably gonna work, but <laughs> we'll see. Don't need that anymore. That's not doing us any good. That's not doing us any good. Get to a gun, now! <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be defenders. We don't, we don't have the ability to produce enough food. There's five guys left. 19 enemies! <laughs> oh, crap. Two guys left, one guy, and he's dead. 80 minutes, 37 waves, and one very wobbly fellow right in the middle there. That's fun. Had a good run at it. What is it rotating around? That was Rimmed Capsule. It's a good game. One of the first games I played on the Vita, that's what I remember most from. Fun little game. Yeah, this is one of the very few, like, actually mobile games that I've ever really enjoyed. Like, it, it, it really is. It's a mobile game. Um, uh, that, that has been ported to a whole bunch of platforms. Like, there's a lot of kinetic control, so you can kind of tell. Like, you're supposed to be using this with a touch screen. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's quite delightful. I think it's very, it's very chill. It's very, uh, very pretty. Um, minimalistic in a good way. So, all right, uh, that was Dreamed Capsule uh, and Minute. Uh, I think I'll be putting up another poll for next week's game or games, uh, and we'll, we'll figure out what we're doing from there. In the meantime, have a great evening, and I'll be back next week.